Hey, what's up? My name's Tom. I'm a freelance web designer. Um, I've been developing websites since I was 16 years old. Uh, I'm now 19, and I'm uh, starting to get a bit of a uh, get a bit of progress. And uh, this uh, this video is uh, aimed at just providing some tips for freelance web developers. Um, I'm not an expert. I am by no means least the best in the business, but you know I'm on a journey, and I want to share it with you. Um, so my first tip is actually persistence um, and this video is going to be quite focused towards not necessarily practical tips but more mental tips um, because I think a lot of success is done mentally um, so the first one is persistence now persistence is so vital uh, I can't stress it enough um, because this is a difficult environment to be in. If you're choosing this as a profession, then all credit to you because it's it's difficult, but it can be very rewarding. Um, and now, persistence is going to be the one of the main things that that gets you through and that gets you success in this industry. Um, because sometimes it's not going to make sense, and you're going to be banging your head against the wall thinking. Is this really worth it? You know? And you're going to be sat there with no clients and it's going to be like, what am I doing wrong? And persistence is the thing that will push you through. Because if you persist, eventually you crack the code. If you persist, success starts to come your way. Um, and just before I go on to the next point, yes, I'm sat on the floor. Um, it's where I can get the best lighting for this video on my crappy old MacBook camera. Um, so, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> um, the next thing is uh, you've got to be passionate. I mean, passion drives you and pushes persistence, actually. They go hand in hand. And um, passion is, is probably next in the line for persistence, actually. Because passion is. It's the fuel for your persistence, in fact, um, and it pushes your persistence, it gives you the energy to persist, um, and if you're passionate about something, you'll chase it. If you're not passionate about something, you're not going to be bothered, you're going to fail and you're just, you're not going to want to chase it after that point. And for me, passion is what drives me to do this job. I don't do it just for money. Obviously, it's important, but I don't do it just for money. I do it because I like doing it. I like building things. I like seeing the results, and I like to see the, the impact that a site has in the particular market that it's in. You know, I, I target websites for small businesses. For my budget. I'm not in it for the big money. I'm in it because I like doing it. Um, and it's very difficult to run a business when you don't enjoy doing it. If you do it just for money, then it's going to be a bit more difficult. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's going to be more difficult. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about, I'm going to keep this short and simple, I don't want to drag on too long, um, is it's actually just being okay with being uncomfortable. Um, because in past experience, um, being uncomfortable is where, I, is where I've learned the most. Um, and I've always pushed myself to... to to actually do something I'm scared of. Um, what comes to mind is when I was 17 years old, I spoke in public in about, you know, in front of around seven, not 7,000, I'm jumping in on there, um, around 1,000 people. Um, and it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my life, and I just paced up and down the stage. And I didn't stop, but my message got across, and people received it well. You know, and and I think that my passion, my persistence, helped me there. Because I don't think without it, I would have known what to say. And I only could do it because I was passionate about what I was talking about that day. It's the same with uh, designing websites. Um, you know, you're going to be in situations and you're going to be feel so out of your depth, but that's okay. Because that means you're learning, that means you're growing. 
Uh, and there's a, there's a really great quote, you probably heard it from Richard Branson, and he says, when someone gives you an opportunity, just say yes and learn how to do it later. That's how I started doing websites. You know, I chased it, yes, but someone gave me an opportunity. I didn't know how to build a website properly. I just downloaded WordPress, shook a theme on it and messed around and eventually got it right. Um, and that's essentially what you've got to do if you want to be successful in this industry. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. Keep going. Continue to want to strive. And uh, eventually you'll start to see success because you'll crack the code. Persistence, passion, and getting out of your comfort zone, they work together in a formula. And eventually they start to sink and you start to see results. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm sure you'll hear me again soon. Uh, I'll probably release more videos. I quite enjoyed doing this, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, thank you for listening and uh, I'll see you soon.